Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the stereochemistry question which was asked in this year's GATE paper, that is GATE 2021. So let us see the question. Among the following eight compounds, the number of compounds which can exhibit stereoisomerism is dash. So this question is a NAT type or numerical answer type question where we have to solve the question and answer and enter a whole number. So these were the eight compounds which were asked. So now the question is that how to identify whether a compound would exhibit stereoisomerism or not. So there are two criteria that is either a molecule should have a chiral center or if there is no chiral center the overall molecule should be chiral as we had seen in our previous video. So let us see one by one the all the molecules and find out which of the following compounds would exhibit stereoisomerism. So this is the first structure that is a cyclobutane uh, ring with an oxygen. So this is a heterocyclic compound. So you can clearly see that there are two chiral centers in this molecule. So this will show stereoisomerism. Let us see the next molecule. So in this molecule, again, you can see that there are two chiral centers, that is a carbon, which is attached to four different groups. And this is more clearly visible in this uh, ball and stick model, as you can see here. So this molecule is also chiral or it will show stereoisomerism. So this is another molecule, as you can see, again, in this molecule, there are chiral centers as you can see there are two chiral centers so this is a cyclohexane ring which also has a bridge so these compounds are generally called as bicyclic compounds and you can clearly see that there are two chiral centers so this molecule will also show stereoisomerism let us see the next molecule so this in this type of molecule you can see that there are two ring structures which are attached at a single point of attachment. So two rings when they are attached to each other by a single point of attachment or by a single atom these compounds are called as spiro compounds. So these are more or less similar to the alene molecules that we had seen that is one ring is in the plane of the paper whereas the other ring would be in the plane perpendicular to the paper as you can see in this ball and stick model you can see that this ring is in the plane of paper whereas the other six membered ring is in the other plane so this is similar to that of alene system that we had seen and you can find out the rs nomenclature for this system also so I want you all to find out the RS nomenclature for this molecule and write it down in the comment section. Let us see the next molecule. So this molecule will also show stereoisomerism. So this is our another compound. So basically if we consider only these three rings, then this is called as 110-phenanthrolene, ignoring these three substituents that is tertiary butyl and two methyl groups only these three fused rings this molecule is called as 110 phenanthrolene so this is uh, an example of a chiral ligand so to 110 phenanthrolene when we add bulkier groups like tertiary butyl methyl groups this becomes a chiral ligand so this molecule doesn't have any plane of symmetry or any inversion center so some people might think that this molecule might be having a molecular plane or a plane that cuts the entire molecule. So as you can see in this three dimensional molecule from another view, if you try to pass a plane through this molecule, which is not possible, okay, because of this oh. bulky tertiary butyl group, this entire system is not completely planar and due to which this molecule will also show stereoisomerism. So now let us move on to the next molecule. So this is a ferrocene system. So this is a derivative of ferrocene where 
there is this chiral carbon with four with three different substituents is attached to this uh, one of the cyclopentadienyl system of this ferrocene and you can see this is chiral so this will also show stereoisomerism let us see the next molecule so this is an example of a allene system where there are two conjugated double bonds which we had already seen in our video of stereochemistry of cumulanes if you have not watched that video i have provided the link in the description so according to the criteria for chirality in cumulanes two substituents on one side of the on the one terminal of the allene should not be same if any two substituents on either terminal is same then a plane of symmetry would pass through that molecule making that allene molecule a chiral here also in this example you can see at this terminal carbon there are two methyl groups which are attached due to which we can pass a plane of symmetry passing through the molecule so this molecule will not show stereoisomerism as it will be optically inactive because of the presence of plane of symmetry let us see the last molecule so this is 1,4 dimethyl cyclohexane again in this system you can see that plane of symmetry can be passed either from this portion or we can also pass a plane like this so this is an example where a plane of symmetry is passing and this molecule will be optically inactive and hence this molecule will also not show stereoisomerism so let us see the results out of the total of eight compounds the first six molecules as you can see here first six molecules showed stereoisomerism whereas the last two were optically inactive and hence they do not show stereoisomerism so the correct answer is six here we come to the end of today's video thank you so much and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel if you like our content thank you